New at 11, Hurricane Helene, a Category 4 hurricane that hit the United States in September, left an aftermath that is still affecting people today. Up North Live's Cody Bear spoke with a former Northern Michigan resident who now lives in North Carolina about the ongoing recovery efforts. It's like living on the moon because after the water receded, it left all this sediment and silt and dust and dirt that dried. And we've had hardly any rain since September 27th, certainly no heavy rain. Paul Heaton, a former resident of Northern Michigan. In Traverse City uh, from about 1997 to 2011, um, uh, worked at Interlochen and at NMC. Now lives in Asheville, North Carolina, a town that was hit by Hurricane Helene in September. I've experienced blizzards in northern Michigan, blizzards in upstate New York. I lived in Florida for a time, so I experienced hurricanes in Florida. And there is absolutely nothing that compares to this in terms of the devastation. Even though the hurricane struck Asheville months ago, the aftermath still remains. Most of Asheville, which has about 100,000 residents, did not have drinkable water until yesterday. That was 54 days after the storm. So these are people who couldn't brush their teeth, couldn't wash their dishes, had to boil water or use bottled water uh, for daily activities. Keaton tells me the biggest thing that the town is missing is a tourism from before the storm. We need visitors. Uh, I work part time at the Biltmore Estate, the largest private residence in the United States, and I work in the winery. And uh, to their credit, they were able to get reopened. They've opened, I think they're in their third week. And this would normally be the busiest time of year for the Biltmore coming into the holidays. And it's just not. But the recovery efforts in the area have been vast and are still taking place now. The federal response and the Red Cross response has been phenomenal. The Red Cross was here before the storm, setting up shelters and plans, preparing for what they knew was going to be a major event. And they're still here. And the people continue to look out for each other. You know how you run into someone you haven't seen and you say, hey, how you doing? That's not how people ask here anymore. It's genuine. How are you doing? Like, are you okay? If you know people in Western North Carolina, you know, reach out, give them, give them a, a virtual hug or a check-in uh, and see how they're doing. Cause it's, it's, it's hard and it's gonna take a long time to recover. Cody Bear, Up North Live News.